June 6, 1944, London. Once again, the world is on the brink of self-destruction. And once again, war shows its cruel face. I, Martha Gellar, have looked it in the eyes over and over again. This time, however, would be my biggest story to cover. Britain's invasion of France is imminent. With the establishment of the Western Front, this war is poised to take a new turn. History is about to be made. I can't miss this. But there is no place for a woman here, they say. So I was denied access to the war zone. Nonsense. I've got to witness this firsthand. Have you heard about the invasion? That's only a rumor. I don't think that's going to happen. What's going to happen? Bullocks. They didn't want to let me on board, but I have my tricks. Once I had snuck on board, I made my way to Normandy. No one on board but had any idea what might happen to large, conspicuous white ships when they appeared in a war zone. All of the other ships were gray, and they seemed to have the right idea. On the other hand, our ship was all white with a green line and bright red crosses. We stood out like a sitting pigeon. Occasionally, we would hear a roar or see the light of a gun flash. You could almost feel the war with all the remains in the water. The mines, the floating bodies, and the sunken tanks. Only their radio antennas sticking out of the water. And groovy dance music accompanied the scene. Just like that, we arrived at the coast of France, stretching wide in front of our ship, and we found ourselves right in the center of the event. one story over and over again. I can bear none of it. The sailors in their battleships, a sea of flames and bombs dropping. The teary eyes of little children looked the same during the Spanish Civil War in 1937 and in Vietnam in the 1960s. Deep inside of me, I'm screaming echoes of all the terrible wars repeating itself endlessly i scream for kindness let there be kindness